Hi, it's Ashley and I am here today with a quick little video tutorial for the cut shop um, for one of my most frequently asked questions um, and that would be how do I separate the images on my PNG cut file once I open it in Silhouette Studio? So I'm here to show you how to do that. It's really easy. Um, I'm going to open up one of the cut files, one of our most recent um, cut files that we have in the shop and that is the open letter cut file. So I'm just going to go and find it in my folder that I have here on the computer. And once I open that, I'm just going to show you how I trace it. And a lot of times I get the question with the alphas because people don't know how to separate the individual individual letters. So that's why I want to share with this cut file. So you can see here I'm getting it open. And now I have the PNG image in Silhouette Studio. So now what I want to do is trace that to get my cut lines. So I'm just going to go to object and then I'm going to click on trace. And that's going to open the trace window on the right hand side. And so I go and click select trace area and then I'm going to highlight over that whole alpha. So once I have that highlighted, I just go back over and uncheck the high pass filter box. And once I do that, I can go back to apply trace method and just click trace. Now I have my cut lines and I can delete the PNG image. So now all of this is still one image. So how do we, how do we separate that? So it's really easy. You can click on it and then go to object and all the way down to release compound path. That's going to release all your lines. Any of the red parts um, that you see are all going to release. So everything is separate now. You can see that I'm moving those just by highlighting over each letter. If I didn't do that and tried to move it, you'll see here in just a minute that any of those inside parts, if you don't grab the whole thing together, they're going to get left behind because everything is separated now. So I'll just show you that real quick. You can see that I can just move parts of the letter without moving the whole letter. So we don't want to do that. And if you want to go back and group each letter together, that's really easy too. You just highlight over it and you go to object and then click group. So now your letter is grouped back together and you can move all of it together. So you could do that with your letters to make whatever word that you wanted to do that gives you each letter individually separated. So I'm just going to move it to the side here and show you one other quick thing. Another question I get asked, um, how to weld letters or shapes together. Um, I'm just going to do the word hey. So I'm going to bring over the H, the E, and the Y all over to the mat and get all of those in place. These are all still separated because this is still under the release compound path. Um, so each, each of those cut lines are all still separate. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you what most people do and they get confused. So I'm leaving this released and I'm moving the H and the E together and I'm going to highlight over those and then go to the modify window which is at the top and click on it. And then I can go down and quick, uh, click weld. So now you can see all my inside lines disappeared and we obviously don't want that. So there's an easy way to fix that. Each of those need to be made back into a compound path. So I'm just going to separate those letters again there. And then I'm going to highlight over each one of those letters and go back to object and click make compound path. So once you get that done and all, on all of your letters that you're going to use for your word, you can put them back over one another and have them layered. And when you go back to click weld, they're going to weld together without making the insides disappear. So now I'm just going to overlap those once again. So you can see there that I'm just kind of placing them overlapped and then I highlight all of it together and click weld. And once I do that, it's all connected and you can see that none of the inside pieces disappeared. So those are two really easy processes for getting your cut files to work for you. I hope you will give those a try. Um, I have a layout here coming up at the end that I use this technique on so you can check that out. And um, if you have any other questions, you can email the cut shop at yahoo.com if you need help with anything else. So just let me know and I hope that you will join me for our next video um, tutorial or scrapbook process layout. So I will see you then.